Welcome protege. Up to this point, you should know the MATLAB environment pretty well. We've covered scalar and matrix operators, different matrix commands, different ways to create matrices, and how to create plots. In this tutorial, we'll cover different data types such as integer, double, char. This video assumes that you already have a basic understanding about these data types, so we won't cover them in much detail. For example, you should know that a UN8 data type is an 8-bit unsigned integer. First, we're going to start with the data type called double, since this is the de default data type in MATLAB. And to show you an example, I'll just do x equals 20 and show you how it stores x. You can see that this variable is a double. And variables of data type double can hold up to four decimal places. But if you only give it two decimal places, for example 20.25, it's going to pad two extra zeros on the end. And if you have more than four decimal places, it will round up to the nearest 10,000. So how do we create variables of different data types? I'm going to create another variable called x in 8. And if you want to convert say x into an int 8. You specify the new data type here and then you pass in the variable that you want to convert. And now it's an int 8 number. And if you can recall from the from the beginning we know that int 8 is from minus 128 to 127 which means that we can do negative numbers up to one, negative 128. I'm going to give a negative number here and show you that. And it store, it's able to store minus 20 as an int 8 number. What if this number was a decimal or double precision? Again, I'm going to cast this to an int 8 data type. And you can see that it rounds up to the nearest whole number or integer. Next I'll go over uint8, which is an unsigned 8-bit integer. So being that it's unsigned, we can't do negative numbers. And to show you that, I'm going to try to convert our minus 20.7567 number to an unsigned 8 data type and see what we get and it will return zero since it can't do negative integers and recall that the range of unsigned in eight data types are from zero to 255 so if we have a number outside of that range say 275 and we try to convert this to an unsigned unsigned integer it will return 255 since that's the max maximum for an unsigned 8 integer. But we can increase the bit size to uint16. To be able to store this 275. And to show you that, I'm going to change this to uint16. 
and it returns 275 since, since it's able to hold that number. I think you get the idea so I won't bore you with int 16, int 32, int 64 and their respective unsigned data types but just note that this is a 64-bit system we can store variables up to 64 bits. Another useful data type that we'll cover is called char and this is used to store strings or words. And to create a string you use single quotes And I'll show you how MATLAB stores a char and notice that it will store this as a char and not and not as a double. You can also convert this char to say unsigned integer 8 values and to do that you use the same convention as before so you went 8 and then pass in your string variable and it will return the decimal value for each letter using the ASCII convention and if you're not familiar with that I just just do a quick Google search I usually click on the first link ASCII is the American Standard Code for Information Exchange and this has all the decimal values and their respective char values. So for example our first letter in our string variable was a lowercase h and the decimal value of that is 104 and we saw that this first value here was 104. And that's it for this tutorial. If you like what you saw please subscribe below or leave a question or comment.